Another big story tonight. Who did it and was it politically motivated? Someone is responsible for setting on fire Arizona's Democratic Party headquarters in Phoenix. That's the word from investigators. ABC 15's Nicole Valdez is live on scene for us. And Nicole, a key piece of evidence already gathered here. Yeah, in this case, police may already have a play by play thanks to this surveillance camera. I'm told investigators already have their hands on video that shows somebody drive their car through this alley, parking right about here. Then you see someone throw something through that window, and about a minute later, an explosion. I met my wife in this building, and to walk through and to see that devastation and that somebody purposely did this is just truly heartbreaking. Steven Saglocki had just five minutes Friday to take a look inside the building he's worked in for 12 years. He shot this video. You can't tell where one office ends and another begins. Computers, tablets, phones, uh, voter guides, candidate, you know, signatures, things like that. Uh, it's just gone. Everything's gone. There's, there's no, there's no way they're going to salvage anything. The Maricopa County Democratic Party chair says he was first here around 6 a.m., just hours after the fire started. He says no one had been inside for days. Instantly. The fire department was telling us already it was very suspicious. Friday, Phoenix police confirming this was no accident. So it's definitely an arson. I could never imagine it would escalate to this situation that somebody would really want to burn down our building. But just 100 days from Election Day, Saglocki says his staff now has an incredible challenge ahead to remake voting materials from scratch and still host key events ahead of November. Our job is not going to stop. We still know what we have to do. We're just going to have to find new ways to do it. And leaders from across the aisle standing by their opponents tonight. The Republican Party of Arizona calling this an act of cowardice. Meantime, Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone, a member of the Democratic Party, donating more than $10,000 to rebuilding, saying elections matter. Live in Phoenix tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.